Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Mind's Iron Inspiration. I'd just like to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm really, really grateful how my channel is growing. And uh, just a big, big thank you to everyone who's subscribed. I'm going to put a link in the description box below to my sister's YouTube channel, Anything Spiritual. Um, she also does monthly readings for each star sign. So Pisces, when you've had your reading with me, do check out the description box below and check out my uh, sister's YouTube channel as well. Okay, just move those cards there just uh, so you can see them all. Right, Pisces, what is happening for you for September 2022? Well, you've got the Seven of Wands here. Look, you can see this person. They're running down this roadway and they've got some obstacles in front of them. So this is telling me, Pisces, that in September you're going to have some challenges in your way. Now, these are just minor problems because... The Seven of Wands, it is a minor arcana card. So I don't feel this being anything major. But it just means that in September, things just aren't going to go to plan. You know, things can be delayed. Things can get lost, um, you know, misplaced. There, if you've got paperwork, there could be errors in it and it's got to be redone. It's all those kind of things, you know, meetings, being put back um, it's delays it's problems it's obstacles just little challenges and you just have to keep overcoming them and the seven of wands it also warns you you know don't try and rush to overcome these obstacles just face each one as they come up and think about each problem carefully before you tackle it. Because if you try and rush things, if you try and force things to happen, then you could end up making a mistake. And you've got the full card as well. You're the second card. Um, sorry, the second sign that's had this card in that place. So, you know, this talks about new beginnings. It's a rebirth. Um, you've got the grapevines down the pillars here which is abundance so it's a new beginning of good times so this of this normally signifies something that were to do with your wealth so this could be your career a creative project or just money in gen general in your wealth but there's new beginnings new possibilities for you and uh, it looks really really good there's definitely some situations that need sorting out in September. You've got the Knave of Swords here. So there's lots going on in your mind, Pisces. Your mind is very, very busy. And uh, you can see this hat blowing around here. Well, that's saying, you know, there's things that need sorting out decisions that need to be made, discussions that need to be had, things that need to be sorted out. And this is also to do with your mind. So you need, and there's a, so many things going on inside your head that, you know, you just need time to get them sorted out. And you've got the balancing of money as well. Decisions, balancing of money, sorting out money. There's lots going on with money for you in September, Pisces. Now, this is a big card. This is the tower card. So you've got a tower moment in September. Now, the tower moment talks of something ending. Something that you thought was solid in your life is no more. This could be where you've got this new beginning as well, because obviously when a situation ends, you have a new beginning. So your way of life moving forward, Pisces, will be different. Some kind of routine or even a person. This could be, you know, a relationship ending, whether it's a, rom a romantic relationship or a friend or a family member. 
um, but the tower card can be the end of a situation the end of a relationship the end of a job you know this is a general reading so it's going to mean something different for everybody but it usually signifies the ending of a situation and it could be one that um you've thought was coming for a while you've got this eye here looking down on it so uh, it's like saying i i knew this was coming i could see this was coming and now it's finally happened and you've got the king of cups here so again lots of changes lots of emotions going on with all of this sorting out that's, you know, all this thinking, all this planning, all this sorting out the finances, this ending, this new, new beginning. There's so much going on for you, Pisces, this month. It's like you're up and down, up and down as you're going through these emotions. It really is a month where your emotions feel like they're on a roller coaster. But as you come to the end of September, things really will calm down because you will be coming out of it and um, you will be moving forward and you can see that man there he's holding a cup well yes cups is emotions but I also feel it's like celebrates I feel like as you get to the end of September and things start to calm down it's like oh my god I'm gonna celebrate the fact that everything is sorted now everything is sorted and I can now move forward and everything's in its place. So a busy month, Pisces. Lots to sort out, lots to think about. The ending of relationship, the sorting out of money. But, you know, by the end of the month, it will all be sorted out. And you've got sensitivity. You are extra sensitive right now to energies and emotions and honour your feelings so again this is talking about the emotions that you're going to go through this month and saying that you are going to be extra sensitive so do look out for that Pisces because you could find yourself losing your temper quite quickly shouting at people snapping at people because you are so emotional at the moment and you're just feeling every little comment every little thing that's said every little remark and reading too much into it because you are so sensitive so take that time out if you can you know take yourself away from situations that you don't need to be in take yourself away from people if you're feeling really really sensitive and you're having a bad day and you think you know like today I could really lose my temper and shout at somebody then try to limit your contact with people that day so that you don't lose your temper and shout at somebody so it's just saying you know be aware of your energy be aware of how you're feeling and know when it's the right day to be around people when it's the right day to not be around people when it's the right day to make important decisions or have those important conversations because there's no point you having a really important conversation on a day when you know you could quite easily lose your temper because you're just feeling highly highly sensitive and that's because of all these changes that are going on Pisces your energy is just picking up on all the changes your emotions are all over the place and you need some time to unwind you know even if it's just going for a walk down the road or sitting out in the garden for 10 minutes on a nice quiet day you know slow breathing deep breathing taking in nature just unwinding to try and calm yourself down well Pisces I hope that this reading has been helpful to you if it has then you know leave me a comment in the comment section below so I know how this reading has resonated with you or helped you in some way don't forget click forget to click that subscribe button and check out my sister's youtube channel anything spiritual and i hope i'll see you again next month pisces for your reading next month thank you for watching